In this video, we are going to go over the Midwest Industries Night Fighter, why I think it's one of the better $1,500 rifles on the market, and how easily I made it into a beast of a rifle. Weren't you just wearing black? Yeah. Full disclosures are really important, and I totally forgot to script one into this video. That doesn't make it less important, it just means that I forgot. But I did want to make sure that I fully disclosed my relationship with Midwest Industries and this rifle. There is zero money exchanged. Midwest Industries sent over the rifle for free for me to review, and I was happy to accept it. They didn't tell me that I had to say anything. They just gave me the rifle and said, go have fun with it and let us know your thoughts. One of the reasons, besides me having morals, I'm able to stay a unbiased YouTube channel is because of you guys becoming members of the Kit Page, which is the main way my entire channel is funded. So thank you so much, Kit Page members. I'm gonna talk about that more in a second. But to finish this full disclosure, yes, these are all my own thoughts. I do appreciate Midwest Industry sending over the rifle, but there was no money exchanged. And I'm happy to answer any other questions that you might have about my relationship with Midwest. So thanks and enjoy the rest of the video. The best way to support the channel is by becoming a member of the Kit Page where I provide discount codes and organize all of the links to everything I talk talk about on the channel, including where you can get a discount code to this whole rifle and most of the accessories that I'm going to talk about. Now you may be wondering where is the most trusted place to buy and sell guns online? That would be guns.com, which is the sponsor of this video. You can buy both new and certified used guns, which go through a rigorous 10 point inspection before they even hit their website. You can also get accessories, ammo, and more. You can use code gunman for new guns on their website, or you can check the kit page for more discount codes, and other things. Thank you, guns.com. You guys are awesome. I'd also like to thank Optics Planet for being great. Use code GUNMAN7 on their site, or again, become a member of the kit page and get a bigger discount code for them there. Jumping right in, let me just start with all the reasons why I think it's a fantastic AR out of the box. First off, it comes with a ton of things that I upgrade to anyway when I'm building out a rifle. So instead of replacing parts on this AR, like I do with most ARs I buy whole, I ended up mostly only adding to it, which almost never happens for me. Here's a quick list of my favorite things it comes with. A Criterion Barrel, Radian Talon Safety Selector, Radian Raptor Charging Handle, which I usually run X2's charging handle, but these are my next favorite. This BCM Grip, one of my favorite BCM stocks, a windowed PMAG, and this is a given, but I genuinely love Midwest Industries handguards. So yeah, already that's money I don't need to spend to replace the stuff I want to run on this build. All fantastic choices. Whoever was involved in building and custom Customizing this rifle, great choices overall, huge fan of this right out of the box. So starting at the top here with all the things I've added, we are running the Silencer Co. Saker K, which is a dedicated 5.56 suppressor that performs pretty well. The K series on my Saker is their shortened version, so it's both lighter and smaller, which I prefer, as long as it doesn't significantly impact the flash reduction, because that's what I mostly care about with cans. Though this does do a great job at sound mitigation as well. It definitely still hurts without Ear Pro, but that's just 556 in general as the bullet breaks the sound barrier pretty quick and that's what's actually hurting your ears. So overall, great can. I still prefer the Velos over this for the flow through features. Less gas in the face, still a great lightweight option though. Under we have a Silencer Co. 3 prong, which I love these both for attaching the can and also by themselves. They are a great muzzle device in general. The rifle comes with a standard A2 muzzle device, so I switched that to run my can. Like I said before, we have a 16 inch chrome lined 1.8 twist criteria and barrel chambered in 223 wild, which is capable of handling both pressures of 556 and 223 and sending the bullet effectively and accurately. Criterion barrels have a reputation. They are fantastic and trusted by tons of people, so great choice by Midwest Industries to use that inside of the Night Fighter. It runs a standard and reliable mid-length direct impingement gas system, which has run fantastic for me, both suppressed and unsuppressed. It's a little overpressured while running a high back pressure can, but it's really smooth with the flow through so no real issues there it just depends on which can you use and even with a high back pressure can it's really not that bad the handguard is basically their combat t-series m-lock version only this one is custom to the night fighter with its specific 3.5 length these handguards have always been solid for me so big fan of it so far for the light i'm running the cloud rain 3 which is my absolute favorite weapon light thank you optics planet for sending this over the light comes ready to use with their included m-lock mount and they also came out with a new button system that 
that I'll be upgrading to soon. The button on the cloud lights is, in my opinion, the worst part about them, but they already made the upgrades to them, so problem solved. The irons that come with gun are made by Midwest. They feel solid and well-made, just like everything else that they do. I'm running rail scales on both sides just to mitigate heat and give some grip texture. A Strike Industries QD mount for the sling, which is from T-Rex Arms. It's a great inexpensive sling. I've used these for a while now. The foregrip is from BCM. I love these. They're super lightweight and they work great as a hand stop when C-clamping. I also cut and sanded this one because I don't think they need to be as long as they come. And I also think it looks a little better. For my main optic, I'm running the Optics Planet Limited Edition EOTech, which has the Chevron reticle as a close range zero. And then the regular center dot you can zero at 50 or 100 yards. Huge fan of this thing, honestly. The Chevron reticle is really cool idea and it's nice to have a point of reference when you're going from far to close without having to change anything at all. I kind of wish all EOTechs came with this feature. The only downside is Optics Planet branding this thing with as large of lettering as they could fit, but that can be covered in Ranger Wrap, so it's really not a big deal. The EOTech itself is sitting on a Unity riser, which I've been a fan of for a while now. They lift the optic up a tad, so I don't need to crouch my neck down super far. And because I really don't plan on shooting this any type of long range, I like the riser because it puts my neck in a position that's a lot more comfortable and easier to get my sight picture. The upper receiver is forged 7075 T6 aluminum, and it's been fantastic. You also get the T marks all the way through the handguard, which is nice. Overall, I haven't had any issues at all with this upper. It's great. I did switch out their OEM BCG, which had nothing wrong with it. I ran it for the first 1,000 rounds in this gun with zero issues, but I did want to switch it out for the new low mass sharp spoke carrier group, which so far I'm a huge fan of. This is my first low mass BCG I've tried, and so far it feels pretty light on the recoil, and it's all the same quality I expect from sharps. So great job to them. The charging handle is a Midwest branded Radian Raptor. Great charging handle overall. Again, I still prefer X2 Dev Group's charging handle, but this is my next favorite option. The lower is also 7075 T6 aluminum, and overall it has a basic design, but in some ways I appreciate that. It reminds me of BCM, who just makes solid stuff that's simple but works really well. We have a standard buffer system. It all runs great. Again, I love the furniture that they went with, like the Radian Talon, which is my favorite safety selector, the BCM grip, which is extremely comfortable, and the B5 Sopmon stock, which is one of my favorite stocks out there. Fantastic choices overall. The trigger is just a standard mil-spec trigger. It still feels really good. It's just got a pretty heavy pull, which in some rifles I actually prefer, especially in something like this, which is more of a duty style rifle. But I do usually switch out the trigger with something with just a little more crisp break and reset like a trigger tech or Geisley. But with this one, I really don't mind leaving it in as it feels really rugged and battle ready, which I like. Overall, I'm so impressed with this whole thing. The stock AR is just awesome for the price. And when it comes to reliability, I've only had a great experiences with it so far. Fantastic job, Midwest Industries. This is an excellent pre-built AR-15. I know a lot of people when looking for an AR will be tempted to go with the cheaper options out there, but I would personally set $1,500 as the minimum budget to get a solid AR that will last for a long time. I know there are tons of budget options out there, but you're not going to get the quality and the customization that comes with this pre-built when you're spending under $1,000, so just keep that in mind. The kit page will also help you save quite a bit of money as well, so consider becoming a member of that, especially if you want some of the same accessories. But at the end of the day, even if you only bought the base rifle, it's still an excellent base that you can build over time. So this is the Midwest Industries Night Fighter. As soon as you build this out how you want, make sure you save enough money to go to the range. You don't need to shoot a lot of ammo as long as you're being intentional about your training. I recommend you don't go out and just plink on metal targets, even though that's a really good time. I hope you'll dedicate at least one of your range days to serious training where your goal is to get better. These are the skills that will help you feel more confident in defending innocent life. There's so much more coming to the channel. Stick around for more. And also, if this is your first time here, check out the other videos I have up. There's lots of good info and stuff in here. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.